Welcome to our very first episode of Microsoft Unboxed. I'm one of your hosts, Sonia Dara, and I'm joined by my colleague, Colleen O'Brien. Hello, world. This is our brand new show on the Microsoft YouTube channel. Every week, Colleen and I will come together and we'll talk about the latest and greatest tech stories coming out of Microsoft. And we'll talk about the awesome people behind those great stories. I'll have a secret story to share to Colleen and she'll have a secret story to tell me, but it'll all be around one theme each episode. And today's episode's theme is, okay, are you ready, drum roll? AI for good. Woo! Woo! So before we get into our topic of the day for AI for good, we wanted to explain a little bit about why we're doing the show and why Colleen and I were interested to be part of this awesome, awesome show. So Colleen, why don't you explain a little bit to our audience? Sure. So Sonia and I both are working at Microsoft, both Microsoft employees. And one of the reasons why I was so excited about this is it's another creative outlet where we can collaborate even though we're not working on the same team. Even further back, Colleen and I actually went to college together. That's right, I stalked you. Uh, I was working for a clothing brand and one of my jobs was to get more people to care about this clothing brand and Sonia was one of the most fashionable people on campus so I worked really Okay, not fashionable, I just happened to model. So that's I did my job though. Sonia was on the front page of the Harvard Crimson wearing the, that dress. So. <laughs> Did a great yeah, job. so we go we go a ways back, but both separately found her paths to Microsoft, and she graduated before me. So we was that a, she's a little bit older. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the reason why I also really was excited to get involved in this show in particular is it's a chance to be awkward, and I just naturally do that all the time. And so to have an excuse to do it on air and like it being okay, I'm and like, at work, yeah, <laughs> just trying to give the people what they want. Yeah, their faces in your computer <laughs> screen, which is hopefully a surface. You know, having the chance to be your authentic self on camera, I think is really powerful. Yeah. We talk a lot about diversity and inclusion. It's near and dear to our hearts. And as we've been researching for this show, I've also learned a lot about what's going on at the company. There's just a fire hose of news. So you're not always, you know, your head's down doing your work but I've learned so much about what we're doing. How about we get started with our topic of the day? So AI for Good is an initiative that Microsoft kicked off that provides tech, resources, and expertise to empower those working to solve humanitarian issues and create a more sustainable and accessible world. That was a mouthful. Phew. <laughs> Landed it. <laughs> AI for Good is this umbrella initiative, and it actually encompasses three unique initiatives. Cool. Number one, AI for accessibility, which, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about today. Number two, AI for humanitarian action. Which I'm going to talk about today, spoiler alert. <laughs> and then number three, AI for Earth which we'll talk about in a future episode. There's so much good content there, we didn't want to squish it all into one episode. We got a lot of good stuff for so you. So that means you're locked in to watch this forever, until you get to that, and forever. Forever. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about AI for accessibility, Okay. which Satya announced at Build in 2018. I was there in the audience. I looked at one of the slides that he used to kick off this initiative, and it just said, opportunity and responsibility. We're constantly looking at industries or business opportunities or customer issues, and there's huge opportunity there. But as a company with a lot of resources, a lot of uh, really smart people, we also have this responsibility to bring everyone along. Right. AI for Accessibility is a grant program of $25 million to be spent over the course of five years so that they can bring their passion and their ingenuity to the over one billion people who have a disability in the world. I had no idea it was that many people. One billion, yeah, wow. It's yeah. people who are coming together from across the company behind this unique passion that they have to make the world more experienced, more 
accessible. One of the apps that has been born out of the hackathon is the Seeing AI app. The Seeing AI app allows you to hold up your phone and your phone will narrate the world to you. Whether you're looking at a receipt and it can tell you how much you're being charged, or you hold it up to an individual and it can tell you that you're looking at a 20-something-year-old Indian woman who is smiling at you. <laughs> I should be smiling. <laughs> yeah. A couple of other really great technology initiatives that have come out of this are around learning tools like SwiftKey, which is helping individuals with different learning abilities get up to speed on their education, on reading. The first grant recipient is Zyrobotics. Zyrobotics is developing unique solutions for accessible STEM education, that's science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, like readable stories. That's read, capital A, readable stories. Uh, Get it? I see it. They're using adaptive technology to meet the diverse needs of students. The computer is able to hear a student talking okay. and give the feedback that a speech language pathologist would give. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. My story is about one of the other pillars that fell under AI for good, AI for humanitarian action. So the AI for humanitarian action initiative was announced at Ignite, um, our big IT Pro conference in September of last year. So basically it's around four main pillars, disaster response, supporting displaced people and refugees, human rights, and then the needs of children. For a disaster response, imagine damage mapping. They're actually able to have an aerial view and understand the ins and out roads that are easiest for um, rescue vehicles to come in, where is the most extensive damage, where can they put more of their efforts first for saving people, maybe if there's a flood or hurricane or tornado. For the second pillar around supporting displaced people, they are providing basically technology, for example, the Syrian refugees that might not um, have access to be able to communicate back with their families, so allowing them to communicate better and also to get more access to learning tools to continue their, their further education. Yeah, because um, they don't have access to their schools. Exactly. Human rights, um, so helping monitor, detect, and prevent human uh, rights violations. What? Being able to use AI to support that. So the fourth area that AI for Humanitarian Action helps with is the needs for children. Operation Smile, I don't know if you've heard about it. I've heard about you've it. You've heard about it. They are providing basically uh, surgeries for children who are born with cleft palates. Without this surgery, nine out of 10 children um, could die. So using facial modeling algorithms and then Microsoft PICS, we're actually able to improve surgical outcomes of all these surgeries. So, Is your heart warming? I know, it's just a really great use case scenario of our AI, our, our facial modeling algorithms all coming together to really support um, some of these initiatives that just really need to, to have some more more focus. focus. Exactly. Yeah, of course. So from these technologies that are empowering people with disabilities to these really fantastic partnerships with humanitarian action, it is incredible and totally empowering to see how AI for Good is directing our focus to these parts of our world, parts of our humanity that really need a little bit more focus. Yeah. Speaking of focusing on humanitarian, which is like the best segue I could think of, we wanted to introduce the third character in our show, which some folks might not have noticed, which is weird because it's been sitting here You're the like whole really time. You're like really anthropomorphizing this yeah. box right now. Nice SAT word. <laughs> That was such a bad high five. <laughs> this is uh, part of our last segment of our show, which is called Outside of the Box. So in this box are a bunch of random questions that Colleen and I will have 30 seconds to answer. We haven't seen any of these questions. Correct. So can we please get 30 seconds on the clock in the back? Dialing it in. If you had lots of money, what unnecessary thing would you splurge on? A gravity blanket. Really? That's what you would... Not like a private plane or a concert ticket. A I don't know. Any blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone just seems so cozy and like they're loving it and it's changing their lives. Oh my god. The first thing that came to my mind was I'd buy a private island. But actually have a private island. That okay, is well I want a gravity blanket. Don't yuck my yum. <laughs> <laughs> That's the difference between the two. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you ready? I am ready. If you could switch places with anyone in your family for a day, 
Who would it be? Oh, that was gonna be someone famous. Oh, anyone in my family? I'd probably say my dad. Such a hardworking man. He immigrated from India in 82, worked his butt off. He's super smart. He like studied in the Grand Canyon, the acoustics of helicopters and stuff like that. What? Yeah, the acoustic of, just super brilliant guy. And I would also just kind of want to know what it's like to be a dude. So, <laughs> like it kind of covers everything. There but he's go. so smart and brilliant and I would love to like walk in his shoes for a day. It would be great. That's really sweet. Yeah. This is a heartwarming <laughs> show. Yeah, our first episode and everyone's gonna be like, wow. Is everyone's is heart warm? Yeah. So that about does it for our last segment, Outside the Box. And that about does it for our first episode. We hope you really enjoyed it. We would love for you to submit questions for our Outside the Box. You can submit it to the email, the email address, address below or comment on the video. Even further um, down. And we'll check it out and we'll add it to the box. If you want to stay posted on all of the latest and greatest episodes of Microsoft Unboxed, we're coming out every Thursday with a new episode, so be sure to subscribe right over there. And that about wraps it up for today, yeah. for episode one. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks, guys. Hey, everyone. If you can't get enough of us, I would highly recommend subscribing to our podcast, Women in Business and Technology, available right here. And you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram at our social handles right here.